Hello and thank you for watching this short video on QuickBooks Online focusing on the ability to manage payables, manage bills from your suppliers or vendors depending on the region you are, it's either a supplier or a vendor. I'm in a QuickBooks Global file, so mine's supplier. My name's Woody Adams, I work for Intuit, and let's get to it. On the Home tab, you'll see right over under Quick Links, enter a bill. And I can go ahead and just choose my supplier, choose exactly what I'm purchasing from them, and it might not be an actual item. Might want to itemize it by a particular account. Equipment rental, 300,000 pesos. And then, of course, choose my class. Division, if you want, department, save. You can also make these recurring. I can also go and pay one supplier under the suppliers menu. I can choose supplies depot. I have some credits there as well as some bills. So I can check all of those off. I also created a credit note, or I should say a supplier credit, if you will, and I'm going to apply that to the amount as well. If I wanted just to do that one bill, that would wipe out that particular bill. In my case, I'm going to apply it to the total amount so that I owe less that amount there. Click Save, and I've paid that vendor. I can also go to Pay Bills, look at US dollar here, show all bills. And I have one for Supplies Depot as well. Go ahead and pay this. You can do it that way. You go into Pay Bills, pay one supplier if you want. It would show all the different suppliers here, uh, which you could go ahead and pay uh, using the bill payment window. Now, you can make sure the bills are turned on, the ability to manage payables are turned on by going to Company Preferences and Suppliers and Vendors, sorry, Suppliers and Purchases, Manage Bills. Just check off this box. You also, there's a few other things you want to check off. The split line, of course, for itemizing by, you know, item or account. A duplicate bill number warning terms. Right? I have net 15, but you have some options. Do on receipt 15, 30, 16. You can always add your own here. And a very important one, apply bill payments automatically. I have it unchecked. Most companies, <clears throat> excuse me, will turn the preference on, but it depends how much control you want over the bill payment process. The automatically apply bill payments preference is for when you enter a payment in the bank account register, in your check register for a supplier, it will go ahead and automatically apply that payment to the oldest bill for that supplier. So if you want that, go ahead and check the box. If you don't, uncheck it, and then you just have more control over that process. So this is where you go ahead and, and turn all this on. Go ahead and click Save and then you know enter the transactions that I just showed you by going to suppliers, pay bills, enter bills, or pay one supplier. That's typically what you'll be looking at. Of course you can you might have a purchase order which you can add to the bill. I believe when I go to enter bill here and choose Isaac, you'll see a couple purchase orders there that I could go ahead and add to this bill and enter the bill and that's going to credit AP and debit the inventory asset. Okay. And then, of course, there's some great reports, supplier reports and payable reports. So if I go to the reports, report list, suppliers, I have my AP agent summary, detail, and a supplier balance detail, and unpaid bills. Great report to have, so you can look and see what bills have not been paid yet. Or, right from the home screen where we started, the ability to see three bills totaling this much is due by tomorrow. I can take action and go ahead and pay bill. So that's how you manage payables within QuickBooks Online. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.